Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Yance's Universe. It's me, Yance. This is going to be your July monthly love reading, okay? If anything doesn't resonate, check out your other placements or check all the other readings I've done for you. That's going to be in the description box, okay? You guys, I'm open for personal readings. You can click the link and um, you'll be taken to my website and you'll see all of the products and services and readings that I offer. You can donate to the channel. I appreciate everybody that donates. Thank you all for your love and support. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender. Any and all negativity. No other not something against me shall prosper. Please give me clear, honest messages for Sagittarius for July 2023. Okay, Sag, so we're going to see the person on your mind, and then we're going to take a look at a new person, and we're going to pull a couple of different oracle decks, okay? only welcome positivity on my channel anything uh, that's not positive anything that's negative or hurtful or mean or anything like that return to sender okay we only want growth here only growth love light healing and goodness here okay all right let's see the person on your mind Sagittarius who are they we have the four of cups this first this person might feel rejected by you you might feel rejected by them this person is bored in life, okay? Their intentions with you, the emperor, they want to take control of the situation. Now, I hope this person isn't being controlling, but the possible outcome is the lovers. You still like this person from the past. This, they don't even have to be somebody from the past. It's just somebody on your mind, okay? Somebody in your mind could be a newer person that's just entered your life as well. But I'm not sure why this person is the four of cups. Okay, clarify the Four of Cups for who this person is. Now, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Then we have the Knight of Wands. Now, who this person is, is they take what they want to take. The universe could be giving them something good or something even better. If it, if they, <laughs> they want what they want, whether it's good for them or not. Okay, so this person is the type of person that goes through heartaches and endings and all types of stuff because they dance to the beat of their own drum they don't necessarily follow any type of um they don't follow they don't follow the rules they don't okay they follow their own rules <laughs> okay clarify the emperor for this person's intentions with sagittarius the knight of cups okay they their intentions is to express love towards you they have feelings and emotions towards you okay their intentions is they might want to be the woman in your life or they might want to be the man in your life all right clarify the lovers tower so we do have a connection here but something is ending or transforming or changing. Why did the tower come out clarifying the lovers? The five of wands. There's some type of conflict, drama. Now, the lovers could represent needing to choose between multiple people. We have the queen of cups, the devil. Okay. Queen of Cups, the Devil, and the Seven of Swords. Now, this person could be in a connection with somebody else that they're hiding from you. Now, this person comes to seek you out when they want that passion, when they want that thrill, or when they want that drive, because they do what they want to do. But I feel like this person does have, if it's not another person that they're hiding secretly, this person has unhealthy habits, addictions, and behaviors, and that might get in the way of what you want with them yeah because it causes confusion because this person is so one-sided okay they're all about themselves it's their way or the highway um they don't compromise either okay it's weird because i see the king of cups coming out with the queen of cups i don't see you wanting to not be with them though okay you do want to be with them yes you do we have judgment here you want to be with this person. You just wish that they learn their lessons. You wish that they um, consider growing spiritually. You wish that they would learn how to be more uh, cooperative and things like that. But 
one thing you learn, Sagittarius, is you can't change nobody, how, no matter how much you love them. You loving them. Now, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes the way that somebody loves another person can change them. I just don't know if it will change your person. Okay? I see fire, also Sagittarius, water, air, water, Capricorn, fire, water, water. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Scorpio, or a Gemini. What's the mutual energy between Sagittarius and this, um, the person on their mind? Okay, they said, I project my feelings onto you. So you might feel like they project onto you and they feel like you project onto them. All right, let's see new love. Okay, tell me about this new person. We have the Ten of Wands. For who they are, they could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They have a lot on their ch on their chart. They have a lot on their plate. <laughs> All right, their intentions is the Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning, a new start. They want something new with you. And the possible outcome is that growth, that stability with the Queen of Pentacles, that nurturing here. Okay, this person could work a lot, but they want to invest in you. Clarify the Ten of Wands for who this person is, the new person for Sagittarius. We have the moon. Why did the moon come out? Now, I'm not going to lie. This person could possibly be a handful emotionally. The Six of Wands. They're a handful emotionally. What you're going to find out with the moon is that they're needy. Okay? You're going to find out they need a lot of reassurance. You're going to find out that they, they need a lot of attention. Don't mind my curl. Oh, one of, like two of my curls didn't curl. My sister helped me curl my ends. Okay, whatever. So who this person is, is they've been through a lot. They need that extra reassurance. They need to feel important. Yeah, the resource. They still, they're still dealing with heartbreak. Now they do want... The Nine of Wands, they do want to continue fighting for love. I'm telling you, they just might be a handful. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for their intentions. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, they their intentions is they, they do want to get on their feet so that they can be independent enough to be with somebody. We do have the Ace of Wands as well. Two Aces. So they want a stable new beginning as long, with a passionate new beginning as well. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. The Fool. Yeah, they do. They feel like with you, you can help them. Now, I'm hoping I'm not getting a leech type of energy. Somebody that needs a leg up. But what I am seeing is this person is a fixer-upper. Now, I don't feel like this person is lacking financially, though. I'm talking about emotionally. This person knows how to make money and good money. They're, they're the Nine of Pentacles coming up. Their intentions is to show you that they're independent, they can be stable. There are some things that they can control in their life in regard to their finances. They're just an emotional wreck here. But they do want something new in regard to stability, finances. Um, a look, I hear a lucrative offer with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for the possible outcome. The Eight of Wands. Okay, I feel like you two actually might get along well because of the stability, because of the fun, the passion with the Eight of Wands. Okay, because this person is on their shit. Now, this person can wine and dine you and all of that. And this might make up for them uh, coming in all <laughs> emotional-like. I see the five of wands. Tell me more about the possible outcome. The queen of cups. Okay, why is there another queen coming out here? The possible outcome. The page of swords. The knight of pentacles. 
judgment. Okay, either this is two queens here, or what I'm seeing is... Excuse me. Knight of Cups. I see you liking this person. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna have something. Y'all gonna have a connection. If anything, you'll be in a relationship with this new person and you'll be a little more happy, a little more satisfied than the old person. It's give or take with with um the person on your mind and then this new person. Okay? Cause this person has their own issues just like the past person. It's just what you're um willing to put up with Sagittarius. I don't feel like this I don't feel like this person that will put you through so much drama and stress but they are a lot to handle, okay? What's the mutual energy between Sagittarius and um this new person? Okay, the grass wasn't greener. So this person realized that the grass was not greener on the other side and they want you or you realize the grass was not greener wherever the hell else you went and you're going with toward this new person with the possible outcome i do see stability travel sometimes there might be blockages in communication because they get on your nerves but this person does have feelings and emotions towards you with the queen of cups they want to nurture you but you don't want to feel like you're somebody's mom Okay, so this person will be the one initiating emotion, communication, and things like that, but also taking their time with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is, um, this connection is a little, the bet, um, you'll, you'll get more, you'll get more on your investment with the new person is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to say this one is a sure bet or a sure gamble because it's give or take, like I said. I see fire, air, Pisces. Cancer, fire, so it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Earth, Earth, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, air, water, water, fire. So everybody came out, Earth, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, fire, Earth. All right. Let's get the overall energy for you in love. The overall energy in love. All right, we have destiny coming out. Luck, chance, and meant to be. Experiencing a lot of good luck. Things happening by chance. Some things are meant to be. All right. Let's pull from your 18 plus. So, best 20 minutes of your life. <laughs> Somebody got 20 minutes to offer you, but I'm telling you, they talking about this going to be the best 20 minutes. Ugh, I can't even talk. The best 20 minutes you ever had in your life. Okay, somebody wants you to smack it harder or you want them to do that. You smell so good, okay? You smell so good. I hear Kiss It Better by Rihanna. Kiss it, kiss it better, baby. Okay, <laughs> they said legs in the air. Wave like you just don't care. What? Legs in the air. Sagittarius, what's y'all doing? What? Okay, somebody said they're on their way. So somebody's ready. Somebody's always ready and willing to please you or satisfy you. Okay, they said say ah, so I didn't know y'all was doing that. Okay, hey, somebody said call me daddy with an I at the end because it's just that crucial. Okay, you, me, and she. Some of y'all could be into threesomes. Okay, somebody said they want to watch you while they do whatever it is that they're doing while they're watching you. And then they said, I love it when you wear those things that you wear. Or I love it when you wear just your skin, child. Just your skin. So this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. No, I'm lying. No, I did the new person. Okay, that was just fast then. I did the person on your mind. I did the new person. No, it was just fast. Okay, so thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys can book a personal reading with me by clicking on the link. You can donate to the channel as well. I appreciate everyone that donates. And until I see y'all again, y'all be safe. Peace out.